The ARC helps people like me being included in the community. The ARC accepts my family where we are. If we need help with our daughter, I know ARC is there to support us. The ARC helped me find my tribe. The ARC helped me get educated and find my people. The ARC is a place where I do not have to explain myself or my child. The ARC teaches me to speak up for myself. Being part of ARC helps me create an inclusive community everywhere I go. The ARC helps us connect with others who understand our situation. The disability community is a community that we could all find ourselves a part of. In my wildest dreams, I did not expect this would be our life. And it just happened overnight. Everybody's, you know, an accident or an illness or a rogue chromosome issue away from their lives changing quite a bit. My husband Tom and I are parents to a seven-year-old little guy named Mason. When we found out we were pregnant, we were really excited, but we were a bit guarded. We had had some losses in the past. At about 35 weeks, the doctor found out that he was in distress. We had an emergency C-section. When I saw him for the first time, I couldn't hold him. He had IVs and he had a little, looked like a little space helmet over him, giving him oxygen. And I got to just lean over and say hi to him and I told him happy birthday. Over the next hours and days, I started to realize that we were dealing with more than prematurity issues, that something really was wrong. He has something called ATRX syndrome. It's extremely rare. ATRX is an X-linked disorder. That means that the mother passes it along. I thought the worst that I would pass along was, you know, I'm short. <laughs> and here I passed along this, you know, genetic disorder that causes him to go through a lot. We were starting to realize that disability was going to be a bigger part of our life than we had originally thought. At the time, I didn't know many people that had kids with special needs. I didn't know where to go to get a lot of answers. You know, my husband and I really kind of just relied on each other and we, you know, we kind of did isolate ourselves a little bit. I was a parent of a young child at one time too, and I had all those feelings. And that's why I developed mobilizing families while I was working here at the ARC. I just didn't think it should be so hard for families to get the information that they need. When Mason was two, we attended the mobilizing classes. It is such a relief when you have other people that are walking the same path. I realized that this had really been missing. I needed a support system that understood what we were going through. By the time you get go through a few sessions of mobilizing families, you've made some really good friends. You're not alone anymore. The next time that we came to something with the ARC was the Summit of Hope Luncheon, and we were in the audience just like you. I also remember feeling extremely grateful because I thought, look at all these people that are advocating for my child. And, um, geez. So I, I just remember looking around and thinking how fortunate we were to live in a community that looked at my child and saw his value. I just really felt like, you know, these are my people. <laughs> so I think the biggest thing that we've gained from the ARC, it helped connect us with other families and that's really been invaluable. It gave us a community. It's a place where they feel like they belong and it just feels comfortable and they feel welcome. It's like going home. I'm Anne, uh, my son's Tim. I have a daughter, Candace. Tim is 30 now and Candace is 27 years old. My son, Tim, has autism, obsessive compulsive disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, and several other diagnoses. We're originally from South Africa. We moved over in 2000. My husband was recruited for a job in Colorado, so we packed up, we sold up, and we moved over here. 
It was really an exciting time for us. Coming to America was awesome. I was ready to go. Totally different story for Tim. I didn't want to move to America, but then as time went on, we got used to it. Like today, we used to it. Their marriage was incredibly rocky when we first moved over here. It wasn't, it didn't last very long. I knew that she was afraid, um, especially with financial constraints. It was an ugly, acrimonious, difficult time for the children, for myself, all round. Because with Tim, it's all about structure, stability and routine. Take that away from Tim, he's lost. It's the simplest things that set him off and it's terrifying. I don't think he means any harm, but he just can't control it. He throws things, he wrecks things. To get Tim to calm down, it usually just takes time. Those bigger, scarier situations only happened a handful of times, and a few of the times we had, you know, we had to call the police, really. They sometimes had to get him sedated to actually get him to calm down. And when he is placed out of his comfort zone, he'll do anything to get back into it. So I was just looking out for is whatever supports we could gather together for Tim. After high school, I found out about a training program through the ARC. We went up for a weekend convention. It was incredible. After the training, Tim and Anne came back to us for more support. Uh, complications from the divorce made everything a little bit more terrifying for Tim and behaviors were more difficult to manage and the fact that they were all here on Anne's soon-to-be ex-husband's work visa. Behavior support was a little more difficult than usual to find for Tim. Obviously the courts were involved, we had immigration attorneys involved, but that wasn't enough. We needed more supports, we needed more help, and it just was so incredible that I could call the ARC in a situation like that. It took more than a year, but our advocates did work on finding supports that would stabilize the family. Um, but that was only temporary because really soon uh, they faced another crisis when um, Anne's ex-husband did force them into homelessness. I remember it being an incredibly emotional and terrifying time for us. There's nothing worse than knowing you have nowhere to go, no money to go anywhere, and then really no way to figure that out. Tim didn't handle this time very well at all. He struggled a lot because, again, it's like trying to find a routine for him in all of this chaos. We needed help. We needed to live. We needed to go forward. The ARC stepped in and helped us. It was incredible. And without the ARC's input and the knowledge and expertise, without that, you know, where would we have been? Where would we be? Over time, we started encouraging Tim to come to our self-advocacy events. We really wanted him to be able to make connections, build new skills, and really increase some confidence and ultimately independence. Uh, so Tim did start coming, and recently he came with us on an overnight conference trip to Alamosa for Speaking for Ourselves. I like speaking for ourselves. I like that we are on a conference. I like everything, actually, everything. I'm easy going. We spoke about improving our skills. There were a lot of people there and we had a dance. I danced with a broom. It was part of the, uh, the excitement. He had a wonderful time. He enjoyed it. You know, he just loves being together with people who accept him for his, his beautiful person he is. I had the pleasure of riding along with Tim on our recent Speaking for Ourselves trips and I've decided that I'm gonna ride along with Tim on every trip because he's hilarious and he keeps everybody laughing. He has incredibly clever jokes. Since Tim has started coming to People First, we really have a lightness and a lot more laughter that I don't think we knew we were missing before he joined. It's been amazing to watch him really connect with people and make really good friendships um, with people that love him. His behaviors have improved markedly since the ARC has been a part of his life. Being able to assimilate him into a community who are so accepting of 
him as a person has been huge for Tim. He'll come up to me and he'll say, Candace, come here, come meet, you know, my friend, this and that, and he'll talk about his friends at home and he loves it. It's it's a part of his routine, it's a part of his happiness. Seeing him, seeing Tim happy is like one of the best things ever to see. He's just the best person ever. The Ark is like one big happy family. And I'm like you, John. The Ark is a wonderful place for parents to meet each other and help each other navigate what we're all going through. As a legislator, I loved working with the Ark community for needed policy change. The Ark is where everybody knows us, and I'm just as important as my sister. The Ark is a place where you can get support and meet new people. The Ark is like the family we all wish we had. The Ark is fun!